Welcome to episode 10.2. We are recording this one way ahead of time since we will both be recovering from a weekend of fun at a catacon when this comes out. If we met you there and said hi, thank you so much. I am sure that we will have had a great time. Most definitely. Unless right Cthulhu ate everybody. It's possible. Should we record one just in case Cthulhu eats everyone? <laughs> <laughs> Should probably record for all possible <laughs> all possible uh, timelines. Yeah, it's very possible. Uh, if you listen to my International Podcast Month episode where uh, one of the old ones came and nearly devoured everybody at a catacon, uh, yeah, that could possibly happen, technically. So if that did happen, go back and listen to that episode. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's... A, a live reenactment of what you- will have had happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, verbs are hard. <laughs> oh yes. You know, well, but you- we're coming to you from the future, so we're doing our best. Exactly. So past selves predicting future selves, our panel must have obviously been most fantastic. And my play tests of Chimera were absolutely life changing for so many people. Yeah, I, I heard believe- that they were great. There was like crowds watching, people recording with like cameras streaming on the news. It was crazy. Yeah, it was nuts. Yeah, I can't believe like two long lost twins were reunited by complete accident while we saved the world from truly bad incarnations of evil and. Everybody brought peace and love back to the world. It was beautiful. I mean, I was just openly weeping. There were Mm -hmm. so many people that were just sobbing. And like, I cannot believe that now they're going to give you the Nobel Prize. Like, I'm so happy for you, Ryan. Like, this playtest really just, I mean, it changed lives. It did. It did. I'll agree. As we mentioned last week, uh, the One Shot Network has a Patreon and backing at the $5 level gets you access to the secret archive where we will be posting our recap of our experience at a catacon so you can hear all about this Nobel Prize winning game. Um, mm-hmm. I, I really would love for you guys to be able to hear it. So please head over to patreon.com slash one shot podcast and you can get the rundown of this absolutely brilliant experience that we had. Yeah. Mind blowing. That's what everybody said. Yeah, I I kept hearing it over and over again. People Mm. were like, it's, I mean, you can't, you can't undo it. Like this is, you are a whole new person now. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know, if you didn't get to a catacon and you didn't have a chance to talk to us, fear not. You can still find us on Twitter or on our Discord at discord.charactercreationcast.com where we would love to talk to you about our gaming, our characters or your characters. Or really anything. We love hearing from you. Uh, That's kind of a theme here, isn't it? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, in that case, speaking of hearing from you, it is time for a review. And as of this recording from the future, past whatever timeline we're on, (laughs) uh, this is our last one. So, you should go write one for us, dear listeners. This one is titled, Teaching an Old Dog New Tricks, from Jeanne Sasquatch, from the USA. Character Creation Cast is a great way to explore character creation in new systems, but the Evolution Cast episodes offer so many tools that can help enrich the campaigns you play in or run. Ryan and Amelia are funny, engaging hosts who clearly care a lot about role-playing games. The audio quality and editing is also excellent. I strongly recommend this podcast for anyone who is interested in the hobby, whether new or experienced. As a 35-year RPG veteran, I have been able to use so many of their ideas and tools to bring my campaigns to the next level. Keep up the great work. Mm, Thank you so much. That was wonderful. Thank you. And we're so glad that you're getting a lot out of it. Uh I I love that this hobby, like, there's so much to learn still, even when you've been playing for a really long time. Exactly. And speaking of learning, how about we learn more about Traveler in this episode? Enjoy! episode, Amelia was creating a university dropout. 
Ryan from Shadow of the Cabal was creating a rogue, and I was creating a saner turned university graduate. We'll pick up right where we left off last time. Enjoy. So this brings us now to term the beginning of term two, all assuming right. we all want to do another term. Let's do mm-hmm. one more. Okay. At least. Mm-hmm. At least yeah. one more. Yep. So do we want to keep the same order with Amelia going first? Does somebody else want to start this one? Um, let's just keep the same order. Keep it okay. easier. All right. So Campbell did not graduate college, but he went to college. Right. Or they. They went to college. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, what do they do next? What career do they feel drawn to? Well, I wanted to pick scholar, but that doesn't feel right. Like, you didn't graduate college. <laughs> so, And that's... That's one of the reasons I love this system is because you come in planning something and what are you going to do now? Oh, man. Um, hold on. So I think that now that Campbell didn't graduate college, Campbell is going to go backpacking through space Europe. Okay. <laughs> um, and I'm going to go with the drifter. Okay. Oh, interesting. Um, drifter, I'm, I'm going to warn you ahead of time. Drifter is kind of not as beneficial don't in care. general okay no that's fine don't perfectly care. fine i'm just <laughs> letting you know ahead of time yeah i can see that right it's, now that this it's, is garbage it's, it's the one where if you fail to get into things you're sometimes put in as a drifter yeah are you yeah okay so he he becomes a drifter cool they sorry i'm sorry no they, it's okay so they yes, become a drifter. they're gonna become a drifter and it, qualification yep. is automatic so i don't have to roll for yeah. that it doesn't take work to become a drifter <laughs> right now so then since, what is the next step the next step is what would normally be basic training, but because you've already done a career education, uh, mm-hmm. instead of doing the full basic training, you pick one of those service skills that you can get a zero. Okay. Um, well, we're going to go with, I think we'll go with Streetwise. Okay. Um, at zero. Okay. All right. And, and then, then, yeah, so now that you've done that. Mm-hmm. Uh, we need to see if your character survives their four years as a drifter. Okay, so do I? What? Pick what? An uh, yeah, yeah. So I feel like. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Before that, you roll for a skill. So you you still have to pick your assignment before anything else. Okay, so I'm gonna. But go it sounds with, like wander. Yeah, with wander. Mm-hmm. So you can, on personal development. Service skills or wanderer, you can roll one die and you will get whatever it lands on. Okay. So I'm going to go with personal development. Okay. We'll see what we get here. And I got four, four, which is language. Picked up a language in those four years. Yes. So I'm just going to look at the skill. I'm just going to mark down language and I'll worry about which one later. Yeah. Yeah. And that this you can, I know you took one language at, at I think zero. You can increase that or pick a different language to put up to one. Yeah, I think I'll pick a different one because I don't okay. feel like a space wanderer is learning space. Would learn Latin. Latin. Yeah. Um. <laughs> okay. So now, yes. So now we do our survival, okay. which for you is endurance seven plus. <laughs> cool. Good thing that my See endurance is a negative <laughs> one. <laughs> Can't wait to die. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I rolled a 10, so it's a 9. Oh, nice. Okay. So you have successfully completed this entire term. You get to roll on the event table. Yeah. Okay, I really love all these tables. This is so good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Tables, tables, tables. So that is 7, which oh. is life event. Roll on the life event table. <laughs> yeah. I was hoping somebody would get that. This t- page 44. Okay. Because this... This is the only way you can become a psionic in character creation. Yes, I hope I do. It's on the life event table. All right, life event table. Yes, so on that table, you now roll two two dice. 2D as it's labeled. Yep. Good dice sounds. Five. Okay. Oh. (laughs) Not not Improved relationship. (laughs) A romantic relationship involving... Involving you deepens, possibly leading to marriage or some other emotional commitment. Gain an ally. Ooh. Who wants to marry this bum? <laughs> well, and, and one thing a lot of times when I'm making characters for this, I will leave it kind of vague and I will say, I gained an ally term two. You know, I, I keep kind of notes of what happens each term. Yeah. And then at the end, 
if somebody's like, hey, I think it'd be cool if, if we started dating in that term. But that, that still doesn't count in, you know, the ally could be a friend we met while we were dating or something like that, you yes. know? It, you just, something, the, the, the two things that matter there are that a relationship improved mm-hmm. and you gained an ally. All right. However you want to figure that out, you can do. Okay. Interesting. It doesn't. It doesn't have to be the person your relationship improved with. It's. It's kind of probably assumed to be, but it doesn't have to be. All right. So I'm making a note. So you have to get a twelve and a one yes. off of the twelve to get there. I also saw there was a um another table somewhere that if you rolled a two or something like that, then some people find you and test your your psi powers. Oh, maybe I maybe there is one that I, I there, missed I somewhere. There's another table. Oh, yeah, here it is. Yeah, it was the undergrad or the pre-career stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you roll a two on the pre-career stuff, you are approached by an underground, uh, highly illegal psionic group. Yeah, yeah, and and there, the rules the rules for testing psionic ability and all that stuff is hidden in the back of the book because it's that. Ooh. It's just that. Naughty. Yeah. Yep, it's that <laughs> naughty. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So now, so, yeah. Do we find out if I get to be an even better drifter? I I guess. Is that is uh, that what's next? So, yes. Yeah, so it's an intelligence seven plus. Oh boy, I'm actually pretty smart though. Yeah. So, um. So that is nine. All right. So if you look at the ranks and bonuses, you find the one for wanderer. You went from rank zero to rank one, which means if you don't already have your streetwise at one, it is now one. Okay. When it has the number after it, it's up to that, but it doesn't, you know, it, it won't bring it back down. You do, if you're above that, you don't increase it. Cool. Yeah. And-, and because you had an advancement, you get to do another roll on the skills and training. Okay. So again, you pick which one of the three available to you you want to roll on and roll one die. Let's see. Oh, I see. So she got the advancement yep. for Wanderer, yep. which then on the second page says yes. rank one of Wanderer gives you streetwise one. W- yes. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're on, I'm on the same page now. Okay. Yep. It's a choose your own adventure book. It really yeah. feels that way. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. So I was doing the personal development one mm-hmm. um, and I got a six, which is jack of all trades. Okay, so you have Jack of All Trades at one now. Cool. Wow. If we were playing this game, instead of just making characters, what that means is, like I think I said earlier, if you have no rank in a skill, you roll at a minus three. Jack of All Trades at one makes that a minus two. Oh, nice. Wow. Jack of All Trades can get all the way up to three, at, what, at which point you have no penalty for any unskilled rolls. Wow. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, that is pretty sweet. So, Actually, being a drifter kind of worked out fairly well for you. Yeah. Yeah. Nice job, Space Europe. Yeah. Uh, All right. Whose turn is it? Um, I think we are on Shiara. Shiara. Yes, Shiara. Okay, so I've I've been kind of back and forth between a few of them, um, mm-hmm. which doesn't help anything. Of course. Um, it, it's hard to say because I'm I'm trying to look at the charts and look at the things and Just then i lose follow the your heart stop trying to like figure it out because it's gonna do what it's gonna do that's true heart of the cards ryan heart of the cards all right um so i am thinking either scholar or scout scholar for the book smarts scout for the exploration i guess i could go with a field researcher and get a little bit of both I think yeah. that's a good fit. I think I'll go that route. I'll go the scholar route as a field okay. researcher. Um, even though she took a very useless science thing to learn. <laughs> well, uh, didn't it we all? Could be. <laughs> so in this in this setting, field researchers can sometimes be a bit more independent. Okay, traveling on their own, and so it could even be that she became it so she wanted to go out and try to find some psionics somewhere to study them oh yeah hey there you go i like that yeah i'll go scholar field researcher uh for my choices okay okay so now i have to try to qualify into a scholar 
Exactly. And it is intellect six plus, but I believe scholar is one of the ones that you get the benefit. I believe you're right. So now I have to go back to the university page. <laughs> <laughs> yep, scholar is one of them. So I got plus one for that. And mm -hmm. my intellect is at nine. So that's a plus so one. So it's a plus one. So I have plus two on this roll. Yes. So I basically have so to roll get a four, four or better. Higher. That is a 11 plus 2, 13. <laughs> yep. You're good. I, I think you got accepted. Sweet. All right. So since you just started this career, you get to take one of these skills in the service skills at rank zero. The service skills being right in the middle of the skills. Yeah, right in the there. Exactly. The, the, top, the top part right in the middle. Okay. So I think, uh, I'm assuming drive is ground vehicles. Yes, correct. Okay, so I think she is going to go with Investigate. Okay. So that seems like it would be a good fit. And this is rank zero, you said? It's, yes, this one is at rank zero. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Yep, uh, and then you roll for Survival. So as a field researcher, Survival is Endurance 6+. plus. All right, so I've got minus one on Endurance. So you need a seven or higher. Ugh. We might see a mishap here. Oh. That is a six minus okay. one. Okay. Five. Five. So, you roll on the mishap table. Of course. That's 1d6. Yep. Sorry, 1d. <laughs> Two. Oh, that's not good. A disaster leaves several injured and others blame you, forcing you to leave your career. Roll on the injury table twice, taking the higher result. And gain a rival. Oh, that's yes. This is good. I love it. <laughs> All right. So, what table? The injury table. Yes. Let me get to that really quick, so I can tell you what page it's on. I got to tell you right now that the forty-seven the placement of all these tables. Not a fan. Mm -hmm. Not a fan. Not great. Agreed. Okay. Yes. So injury tables on page forty-seven. Oh, there it is. Okay. So I roll a uh, one D. You yeah. And I got to roll it twice. So I'm just yep. going to roll 2D. And, and did it say to take the lower take the of the highest. two? Higher. Okay. Okay. So, so it's we're going to take the less bad one. Yes. It is a five. Injured. Okay. Reduce any physical characteristic by one. Ugh. Your physical characteristics weren't great to begin with, were they? No. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with my dexterity. Reduce it from five to four. Okay. That'll work. So it's still at a negative one now. Uh -huh. So here is here is a decision you can make. You could go in for medical care. Oh. It's going to cost you, but you can prevent that damage. I don't care that much. Okay. That's perfect. So <laughs> one thing I'll say is from the looks of it, if we're only going to do a couple terms, we might not feel that debt that you normally feel in this game. Yeah. Because most people do like five terms. I kind of want to do th three. I'm cool with three. With that. Yeah, we can do three. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. So, so yeah. So you, you no, got a hang of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you also got a rival. Yes. So I put in my allies, contacts, enemies, rivals. I have a rival. Mm hmm. Okay. And, and again, you know, when you actually are done with everything, it's good to flesh those out to really give the, the referee, uh, you know, an understanding of who it is that you angered and yeah. why they want to is that what the gm stop. is called in this game is yeah oh yeah yeah sorry i, I forgot no, to mention that yes. i remember <laughs> reading that at the beginning but i kind of like lost over because i was like that's weird yeah that's really so funny. zach is going to stay as a rogue for this term uh and because i'm staying i do not need to roll the qualification again he's already been qualified he's in he's good so now i roll on one of my tables and I am going to roll on personal development. And I got a two, which raises my dexterity by one. Okay. Uh, following that, I roll for survival. As an enforcer, again, my survival is endurance six plus. <laughs> I failed. All I failed. Right. Yes. So, Zach is not going to succeed there. Uh, so, since I failed, I need to roll on the mishap table. Yeah. Yes. I love all these tables. I know. It's so good. And I got a four. A job goes wrong, forcing you to flee off planet. 
gain a one of deception one, pilot, several things, one, uh, athletics one, or gunner one. Oh, that's actually not that bad. That's actually not that bad. <laughs> that's surprisingly not bad. That doesn't feel like a mishap at all. <laughs> uh, so, well, okay. However, unless otherwise stated in the mishap, you leave your career. Yeah. So I also cannot be a rogue next time around. So can you not roll to try to get into that again? Or you just like have to pick something else? Uh, if, if I remember right, you, I can't go in. I know I can't go in next term. I, okay. I might be able to go in the following term. Okay. I would have to, I would have to double check that, but I don't plan to go in the, <laughs> we, I don't think we plan to go that far. No. Yeah. So with that though, I don't get any other rolls. Okay. On, on my, that, that is my term. I'm so sad. I missed, I missed out on personal development and <laughs> I want to roll more. More rolling. I know. Oh. Okay, so however, I think I think um he's going to take pilot spacecraft as he escapes the planet. Ooh, nice. Nice. I'm thinking because now it's back to my turn, right? Yes. Oh, by the way, mm -hmm. uh we are all now twenty six years old. Yes. Ooh. Getting so, old. So this one will take us to age thirty. Correct. Okay. And we still haven't met each other yet, theoretically. Well, it, a lot of times I like to get through all of them, okay. and then we can go back and say, well, I think I met Shiara when Shiara was doing this. Okay. Okay. So I'm thinking that I want to pick a different career. Yeah. Okay. So I think I want to do merchant this time. Can I do that? Yes. Uh, I, yeah, I know you can. I, I'm trying to sure. really quickly see if I can find the... Yes, here it is. Uh so wait, you you were, I'm sorry, you. I was a drifter. Oh, okay. So you're going from one one type of uh, drifter to another is what you want to do? Nope. Oh, oh. So oh, you want to go to a completely different. Sorry, uh -huh. sorry. No, I'm, you're fine. Yes. So yes, you have to roll to get into. You okay. Said merchant was it? Yes. Yeah, that's so. right. Okay. Interesting. So that is intellect plus four. Yep. Or in oh, four plus. Uh, I mean, hold on. Sorry. There's something else you need to know. Uh huh. You have had a previous career. Mm -hmm. uh, underneath the qualifications, you might notice it oh, says yeah. DM minus one for every previous career. Okay. Uh, normally, I don't think that you, university counts for that. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Especially because I failed. Yeah. But so you are rolling it minus one because you were in a different career before. Okay. And this is still two dice, right? Correct. Okay. So that is seven, and that's flat then because I have minus yeah. one. But that okay. means you can be a merchant. Cool. So once again, the first thing is you get, well, the first thing is you're supposed to choose what assignment and you take. So I want to take free trader. All right. Awesome. Then you get one of those service skills at rank zero. Okay. I'm going to pick persuade. Okay. Then... And then would you have to do survival? Yes. Is that right? Oh, boy. Huh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's dexterity. It's, you'll be fine. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's at a zero, so it's not. Nine. Nine. Yeah. You stay in. All right. So now we do an event. Event. Let's see. Event. Five. Uh, you have a chance to risk your fortune on a possibly lucrative deal. You may gamble a number of benefit rolls and roll a gamble, gambler 8 plus or broker 8 plus. If you succeed, you gain half as many benefit rolls as you risked. Rounding up, if you fail, you lose all the rolls risked. Either way, gain one level in whichever skill you used. What? Okay. So <laughs> ben benefit rolls are, I, I mentioned quickly earlier benefit rolls are those things where uh at the end when you're done with a career you roll to see what things you got for being a part of that career okay so there's there's two different columns we'll get to that near the end that is when i normally do it do the actual benefit rolls uh but you can right now you have one benefit mm -hmm. you can gamble that one benefit um and if you succeed, you gain half if you succeed. as many so you would, benefit rolls you would as you risk. end it with two. Because it rounds up. Yes. Okay. If you fail, you're going to have zero benefits for 
for right you, now. But if you succeed, you gain half as many benefit rolls as you risked. So if I risk yes. one, you gain half you as would, many. So I would only gain one back. You would basically you'd gain 0. 0.5, so you would end up with 1.5, which is two rounds up to two. Yeah. So you would double it. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's see what happens. I'm not playing this game. <laughs> okay. An eight plus. So how does that work with a skill that I don't have? It's minus three. It's well, don't you have Jack of all trades? Oh, I do. So it's mm-hmm. only minus two. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and actually do a skill roll here. Okay. Uh, so my question to you is which one are you using? Let's go with gambler. Okay. It probably doesn't actually matter because yeah. So do skills go off of characteristics? Or like uh, how does that Yes. Yeah. So so Gambler would go off of intellect. Okay. And is broker the same? I will look that up for you. Thank you. Uh yeah, I would say it it's one of those things where it's kind of the the GM discretion, but I would say based on their their things, yeah, it probably would again be intellect. But you do get okay. you do gain one level in whichever skill you use. Even if you fail. Even if you fail. Yeah. So yeah. you, if you, so I'm gonna go ahead and go with gambler. There you go. Okay. And so, so I have to, to roll. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. do you have a bonus from intellect? Yes. Yeah, so I have so one. That, so now yeah, I have so to that roll will be nine. Yep. Right. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad. It's doable. You can that's do 25% it. Twenty-five percent chance. Yeah, but my last three rolls have been good, so you know what are the odds? Hey, ten. <laughs> You gambled. I gamb- I did a gamble. <laughs> you did a gamble so good. <laughs> I did. Not, not what so happened. good. Um, so, so now, now I get, I'll get to do the benefit roll twice when we come to it. Yeah. And I gain a one level in gambling. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's amazing. Mm-hmm. That was fun. Huh? Uh, so you're not done yet, though. No. Because that was your event. Now you get to see if you advance. Yes. Intellect 6+. Eight. Eight. You advanced. So now you are a rank one free trader. Yeah. Which means you automatically get persuade one. Cool. And you get a free roll on the skills and training. So if I already had persuaded a zero. Now it's one. Now it's one. Yep. Okay. And I get a f- on the skills and what? Uh, so personal development service skills free trader on the skills and training area. Okay. You get to do a free roll to gain something. Every time you get an advancement, you get to do that. Personal development. Mm-hmm. Just one. Four. Four? So that means your intellect goes up one. Cool. Which puts it to a 12. I believe that gets it a plus two. It does. I'm so smart. Cool. All right. All right. What does uh, Shiara do now that... Uh, she is not a scholar. Shiara is uh, down and out and uh, feeling a little uh, kind of depressed from uh, not being able to get to her uh, her chosen career. So she kind of falls back onto what she's used to, and she's going to try to go into the entertainer career. I like right. it. Let's see. So I need a uh, an int 5+. plus. Um, I'm not going for journalist, so I don't get the plus one from university. So I just need a uh, a four or higher. That is a three. That. Oh, so and you, DM you minus did... one, so that is a two. Oh. Yes. No wait. Okay. No, that, that's a that's a four. No. Yeah. What? Okay. But either either way, you did not I did not qualify, qualify correctly. Yeah, I needed a five or higher. Yes. Okay, so Uh, what happens when I don't qualify for my career? Well, you still have a couple options here. Uh. Um, (laughs) You can be drafted or become a drifter. All right, I'm going to be a drifter. Okay, so you automatically get the drifter career. Uh, She is on hard times here. (laughs) I'm retired. These days. You graduated from college now. (laughs) I am pulling out. My special Mishra dice. Oh no! Serious now. Because forget that. <laughs> Stupid. Okay, poor Shiara. Okay, so now I'm a drifter. Yes. Uh, so what? Uh, what assignment do you take? Oh lordy! All right, I. Hmm. Oh god, it all sucks. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh god. Ryan. All right. Um, I'm gonna go with Wanderer. All right. Yeah, that that seems to be the so, most fitting. Um, she couldn't get into even the entertainment field. People probably thought, <laughs> you know, you gave it up a few years ago to go off to university. You're you're kind of out of practice. You know, we're not going to bring you back onto the the entertainment field on your planet. So yeah, have fun. Uh, poor depressed Fiara. <laughs> okay, so now I need to what survive. Uh, so first you get one thing from service skills at rank zero. Oh, I'm going to go streetwise. Okay. I'm assuming she, uh, she kind of lived on the streets for a bit. That's fair. Uh, so now you will do your survival roll. Okay. Which is endurance. Endurance seven plus. Good Lord. And I've a minus one in endurance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. All right. So I need an eight or higher. I believe in you. That is a six. So what? Minus a, one. Uh, yeah, minus no. one. So that's a five. Okay. Time so for some mishaps. Sounds sounds like a mishap uh-huh. to me. Uh-huh. All right. <laughs> oh, Ryan, so sad. Drifter mishap. All right. Let's see what happens. One through six. Three. You run a foul of a criminal gain. Corrupt bureaucrat or other foe gain an enemy. Goodness. All right. I guess it could be worse. It could be. Yeah. Okay, so failed. So so that also means you are, you, you can't be kicked out of being a drifter. You technically, you can go back to being a drifter if you want next round, next term. If we were going it's, for it's, uh, If we were going for a fourth term, yeah. you, you, you can't be kicked out. You can always be a drifter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> So can always go back to being a bum. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I think after Zach escaped from some pretty bad stuff, I think he tries to become a courier. Ooh. Oh. Which is a scout. So let's see if he succeeds on that intellect five plus role. Hey, he does, even with the minus one for being in a previous career. Mm. I, I rolled a, an eight, and my intellect is I don't get a bonus for it, but I don't get a penalty for it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So I have successfully become a scout. And even though he already has pilot spacecraft, I don't need to take that as a service skill. I think he takes, I'm going to just put a second gun combat to zero. I don't know. I haven't picked the guns that he knows how to use, but he knows how to use some guns. Okay. Just, you know, guns. Just, yeah. Mm-hmm. So now we need to see if he survives this term. And as a courier, it's endurance five plus. And I rolled another eight on the die, and I have a, bo- a bonus of one to my endurance. So I'm good there, uh, which means I get to roll an event. I'm sure this will be lovely. <laughs> a one disaster roll on the mishap table, but I am not ejected from this career. Oh, wow. And I got a six roll on the injury table. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I got a five injured. Reduce any one physical characteristic by one. So as a courier, I got hurt. Oh no! <laughs> and my it's a horrible bike accident. <laughs> <laughs> my endurance went down. So because that was as an event, if you look at the uh, the flow chart, yeah, the flow chart, there. yeah. So I think I believe I still roll for advancement. Yes. In this, so. I probably won't succeed because I'm not super educated, you guys. You can do it. Uh, I actually just got exactly what I needed. I got a nine. Oh, nice. So I do get a upgrade as a courier, which puts me as a scout, and I have the vac suit skill at one now. All right. So I'm the only one of us that knows how to use a vac suit. Cool. Except for Jack of all <laughs> trades over there. Yeah. And I am going to roll on my courier training. So we'll see what I get there. And I got a three, which is pilot spacecraft, which actually brings me up to two on that. I think I know what my role I have, you guys. Nice. Okay. So I think we all agreed that we're going to stop it here, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, so that puts us up at 30 years old. Yep. So we don't have to worry about aging effects. 
<laughs> like I said, normally, normally I see people go five or even six terms. And at that point, you have to roll aging and you start losing characteristics because of your age. Hmm. But we don't have to worry about that because we're still young and spry. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's quickly go through the benefits. Um, if you want, I can, I can do mine first just to kind of show you guys. Sure. Okay. So I spent two terms as a rogue. However, because I got kicked out on my second term, I don't get to factor in that second term for my benefits. Okay. Um, so then I just roll on that benefits table once then. So uh, let, let me just... Uh, so I, I'm actually going to get two rolls because when, you rank, when you're rank one or two, you get an extra benefit roll. Oh, cool. So I, I will get two rolls on that benefit table. So what I'm going to do is I am going to roll once on cash, which is a bad idea because it's very likely that I'm going to get no money for that. But, you know, it's fine. And I got a four, which means I start with 10,000 credits from that benefit. You guys, we might be the first time I've ever seen that we don't start in debt. Hmm. Hopefully, maybe. And then one time for benefits, I got a three, which is my intellect goes up by one. Okay. And so that is everything for Rogue. But I also did a term as a courier. So then I go over to Scout. And I ranked up to one. So that means I get two rolls on Scout. I am going to do the first one on Benefit. And I got a six. So that's a Scout ship. Ooh. That's, oh. That'll do it. So. Uh, I was told that this could go horribly wrong. And it hasn't yet. And I would like my money back. Uh, I beg to differ. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. First off, first off, how many mishaps did we have? Um, but here's yeah. me, none. All of mine. Here's the, the other thing. I it says you know I rolled uh, that ship. I don't own a whole ship. What I rolled is that I have a ship and I have a loan on it. Oh. Guess who's in debt? You. So yep. what's the difference between if you rolled scout ship or ship share? Oh, I'm sorry. With the scout ship, it's different. With the scout ship, I'm not in debt. I just, it's kind of on loan, and so I'm going to be expected to do things with it. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, so what a ship share is, is you basically own stock in a ship. Gotcha. It has a value and, you know, can be sold or can be used to gain some income, but it's, you own a part of a ship, but you don't own the whole thing. Uh and then my other roll for Scout is just going to be on the, the money. And I rolled a one, so that's 20,000. So I actually start with 30,000 credits and a Scout ship. Wow. That's, that, that's not as great as it sounds because I still would have to, I'm still going to end up having to buy equipment. Um, there are fuel costs for the ship. Money goes away pretty quick. But we don't just care like about real that. life. Yeah. We're not playing. So, uh, so <laughs> let's do, let's do Shiara next. So, Shiara on term two failed out yep. because of an injury, so you don't get a benefit there. Actually, Shiara doesn't get any benefits no, at all. because uh, <laughs> she is down and out and very, very Oh, look very at this. Sad. She graduated college and then failed throughout life. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to a, a life simulation yes. only in the future. Yeah. All right. Well, what about Campbell? Campbell succeeded as a wanderer. Yes, so they did just fine drifting around doing nothing after failing out of college. Yep. So we succeed as a wanderer, so I get to roll on the... So what you get to do now is there, on the benefits, there are two columns, cash and benefits. Okay. You pick one, say which one you pick before you do it, and then you roll. All right, I'm going to go with cash. Okay. And there, there's only a set number of times you're allowed to roll on the cash column, but we did so few terms and succeeded at even less, so we don't have that to worry about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I got five, which is 4,000 credits. Not 4,000 credits. That is not a lot. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Uh, and then. But, however, you <laughs> also ranked up when you were a wanderer. You got to rank one, so you get an extra one. Oh, okay. So I'm going to roll on the benefits one then. Okay. Whoop. Didn't work. Rolled off the table. One. Contract. Contact. Contact. I can't read yep. this. <laughs> Contact. It's all right. You know people. I know people. I yeah. know a guy. 
Yeah. So, and then I have finally, a interest and a contact. It's great. Finally, you get. Oh, you did rank up for merchant, so that means because of your gambling, you're actually going to get three rolls for merchant. Oh, that's right. Wow. Because I did a gamble. You did a gamble. I did a crime. Okay. Well, you could get a lot of cash here. Yeah, I'm going to roll on this cash table. It actually might matter now the total number of cash benefits you can do um, three times in your lifetime. So you, you've you okay, already so done one before, so you can only do two of them. I should have known. All right, so I'll do two on the cash table and one on the benefits table. Okay. Six, six. You can also, you can also do, do one, and then if you get like a six for the cash, you can say, I think that's enough, and I can switch over. It's, there's never enough money. This is capitalism. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Space capitalism. Space so I got capitalism. a three, which is 10,000. Yeah, you're going to need more than that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've got more money than you. Yeah, I know. Six, six. I probably have pencil that works. Okay. So let's see. Don't you get plus one as a gambler? Ah. Oh, no, a one. No. One so thousand. One thousand. So I'm at 15,000. Mm-hmm. And on the benefits table, two. So, intellect plus one, which puts me up to 13. Oh, no, puts me up to 10. Sorry, wrong one. So, if if you had rolled a six and got the free trader, Mm -hmm. that's one of the ones where you would own 20, you would have paid off 25% of your free trader. Now, did you add plus one to your skills uh, since you have a gambler skill? What? Cash benefits. A traveler with the gambler skill gains DM plus one to all rolls on cash columns. What? No. Oh. Yeah. You're that's a good catch. I sorry. I, I No, yeah. that's fine. Okay, so then one of them would have been 20,000, so it would have been 25, so 29 for the cash then. 29,000 is your total? Yeah. I still beat you. You did. Yeah. So, that just you did. just to, yeah, just to give you an idea here. Um say you had successfully rolled that free trader. Mm-hmm. That's another ship. You if you the total cost of the free trader is 45 million credits. Holy what? Mm. And you start the game with 25% of that paid off. And Ryan there's won't let me swear, but holy <laughs> And there are there are rules for how much the loan is going to cost you monthly. Oh my god, of course there are. So that's that's the sort of thing where you normally run into the debt because usually someone rolls one of those ships or a uh, a lab ship, which you also have to pay off. Wow! So you roll yeah. a ship, but you don't even get. <laughs> well, it's like <laughs> it's like you you have a loan on your car, you know. Yeah, I guess. I was like, oh, here, but you rolled a ship you can't afford. It's just a space car. Yeah, yeah but, but luckily, like, in real life, you would know not to do. Do that. you need to get space insurance? <laughs> well, so all since our group, we do actually have a ship between the three of nice. us because I got that scout ship. Of course, it's not owned by me. I, I, I'm still expected to do jobs for people, but I have it. But maintaining that scout ship costs 3,064 credits a month. Ugh. So just by having that and maintaining it, I'm going to be losing money unless we do some good jobs. Which is the point of the game. Which is where the point of the game comes in, yeah. Okay. How many jobs can you do in a month? Well, it, 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 we could just... Um, there are some some things to be aware of in this game. Just anything some. anything outside of, you know, between one planet and another in a system, you basically need to jump. And the, the jump drive will take about a week, no matter where you're going within range. So to go from one system to another is a week. Hmm. So if your job is in another system and you have to get there and get back, that's already two weeks that just in travel. So there's a lot of trying to decide if it's this worth game it. Sucks. <laughs> <laughs> there's, yeah. This is the, this is the game of life, the RPG. Like, <laughs> it just it's space life. Yeah, but so now now we have our uh, our characters' history kind of, and so what we can do now is actually determine how they know each other. Okay. So. So I've got a rival um, and an enemy. Yeah. I have a contact and an ally. So one thing I'll point out, um, the place, Ryan, where you got your rival, where you got injured, yeah. is where I had a job go wrong. Oh. That could be linked. Okay. And the injury was Ryan's fault. <laughs> no, I'm serious. It said in the table that it was. Yeah. I, 
Oh, yeah, what was it? Oh, it, well, it, I, I thought it was. Thought it's others blame me. Yeah, others oh, blame you for doing something. You got injured. Several injured, and others blamed me. So I could have been the yeah. patsy, or I could have been at fault. Yeah. So, what was your character trying to study while while she was out there? I mean, she wants to. Um, what are you still going with the trying to study psionics? Yeah. So I'm wondering. So if if it was like some sort of uh, archaeological thing. Well, what I was thinking is. Zach was a rogue. He he worked for some criminal organization. Oh, okay. And with psionics being a criminal thing to be, it could be possible that maybe Shiara found a psionic that was in involved with what Zach was doing, yeah. and that was when things went south. Yeah. And so maybe maybe it was one of those things where whatever the disaster was. Zach and Shiara might have been about the only two left, and perhaps Zach had to, I don't know, part of his job was to defend that psionic, and since he failed, he had to get out of there. And Shiara, well, maybe for some reason it seemed like she was the cause of it. Okay, so how, maybe I was asking too many questions about okay. it, and it drew, um... <laughs> Maybe it drew some anti psionic like uh militants. Okay. To, or like the actual authorities. Or, or the authorities. I'm thinking somebody that wanted to uh you know, kill instead of uh instead of arrest. Okay. Um and maybe with some sort of like improvised explosives or something like that. And uh so the blame kind of fell on me because I was poking my head around too much. And mm -hmm. can I can I get a rival and a enemy? No, the enemy was different time period, wasn't it? Uh, yes, the enemy came later. Okay, but it—I it, mean, you could find a way to link them together. Yeah. Still, yeah, because I'm thinking maybe I gain the rival in term two of mm -hmm. uh, maybe your uh, your crime boss. Okay, yeah, that you ran away from. Yeah, and that way, I I kind of got on their radar, and then in term three. When I had my mishap and gained an enemy, uh, let mm -hmm. me see what that one said again. It was wanderer. It yeah, was... you run afoul of a criminal gang. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, that so, works out really well. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's it's still them. Yeah, so most still likely. them. Only I ticked them off even more. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe I tried to to poke around a bit more, um, and uh, maybe some. You like trying happened. to clear your name? Yeah, or trying to clear my name yeah. or something. And uh, then now they actively want me gone. Okay, I think that would explain both my rival and my enemy being the same. Yeah, uh, the same people. Yeah, or people from the same group yeah. at least. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I like that. And so what that is? So now we we are linked on term two from from the events. Yeah. And it, in actuality, you only need to pick one event. So like. It could be just your event, but I was involved somehow. But it, I think these two events work really well together as both of them being the same event. Yeah. So what we get from that is now we both get to pick any skill <laughs> and, and raise it by one. I think it's best if you have it be a skill that is somewhat related. Okay. You know, some, somewhat like have some reason that it makes sense in the story that this right, right. led to that. But it, according to the rules, it doesn't have to be. It's just. Take a skill. At least it's one you already have. Though, yeah. So you don't have to pick a new one. So this this <laughs> takes the skill and adds one to it, right? Yes. So if it's a skill that you have nothing in, even if you're untrained, it will go up to one. Okay. So I think I'm going to take pilot small craft. I think I got us out of there on a shuttle. Nice. Huh. Ryan, you take these choices so seriously. <laughs> <for a different laughs> <play. laughs> hey, this is this is a big deal. This okay. This is a big deal. And by the way, another one of the ways that you can go seriously in debt. Is if we had gone one more term, we had we would have to start rolling for aging. Yeah, Ugh. you can avoid aging. You just start by aging at thirty four. Yep. Oh so man. Stuff. You can avoid aging by by starting to take some anti aging drugs that are illegal and cost a ton. Cool. Hey, more debt, and that also puts you in debt. <laughs> so that's that's one of those things where it's like I said, like it's amazing how not in debt our characters are considering mm -hmm. that this game, but it's not so much con since we did pretty short character creation yeah. comparatively all right i'm gonna put uh one into stealth okay 
That makes sense to me. So the other thing with connections is everybody can get a total of two skills for it. Since there's three of us, that would basically mean we all, all three of us pick, you know, one with each other. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. If you have a bigger group, then not everyone's going to have connections with everyone. Right. But a, a lot of times I've run it for four people before. And my, my normal thing is I try to do something like everyone pick a connection with the person sitting to your left so that there's at least a chain of connections and there's not, you know. Yeah. yeah. Nobody's left out. Exactly. Sorry. Uh, so we need another connection then. So in term two, I have this improved relationship. Mm-hmm. Where I gain an ally. A romantic yeah. relationship involving you deepens. Yeah. Hmm. And it could be, the ally could be the person that you are romantic with. Okay. It doesn't necessarily have to be, but it could be. Yeah. Yeah, it just says involving you. Okay. Yes. <laughs> kind of weird, but sure. Um, so what was I doing in terms of, oh, I was being a drifter. Hmm. That's, that's when I got kicked out and became a drifter. Yeah, but that was the end. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't become a drifter until the third. Oh, yeah, that's right, because I tried to get an entertainer and yeah. got kicked out. Yeah. I could give you something a little boring. You both were in university at the same time. That's true. I was kind of thinking it might, it might not be. Yeah, it might not be the most exciting thing, but. That's true. Does it matter when which term I got this life event in? Uh, Yes and no. I mean, if if, if we're being really serious about it, You'd probably say, yeah, but if, if we're kind of being a little loose and, you know, <laughs> well, yeah. and already recording for two hours. If you, if yeah, you no, wanted to connect us in university and then have the connection uh, for term two apply. That's true. We can yeah, still be. Yeah. It's it, it can be really loose. Well, it's improved yeah. relationship. So yeah. maybe it just yeah. got better. Yeah, exactly. Like That's overall, fine. this the point of this is just so that we have some solid reasons that we know each other. Totally. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then my other one is contact. You gain a contact. So I feel like that can be. When did you get that one again? It's the benefit. That or, one? No. Was, oh, that was a benefit? Yeah, one of my benefits. Yep. Okay. Or, so no, that, it was. So that one we don't really do. Yeah, that was yeah, that was benefit think... on the benefit table for merchant. Okay, yeah. So we don't talk okay. about that one. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so this is usually more focused on events. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, that's not what so, so you two met at university and then. Is the relationship you two then? Is that what's going on? Yeah, why not? Yeah, I'd be, I'd be okay. done with that. Easier. It, you could have the ally be maybe a, a, a mutual friend that didn't even introduce you guys or something. Sure. Because it's the the one thing is you know obviously we can't be each other's ally mechanically because we're characters here. You know the allies have a mechanical thing. Right. They're NPCs. Yeah. So what's our relationship? Um. You tell me. Oh, Campbell doesn't like labels. <laughs> it's just, yeah. I'm just like trying to do my thing, you know? <laughs> just backpack across space Europe. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. All right. So then if that's that, then we would le be left with Zach and Campbell. How do they know each other? Hmm. Uh, it does look, I mean, you were a free trader at the same time that I was a courier. I was going to say that probably makes the most sense. Yeah. That you were just like. I, I, we had we had some professional I, overlap. We, we used to, or you know, while you were at the gambling parlors, we used to run into each other at those places because my, you know, Zach is still kind of got the criminal background. That's true. That's true. So you know, the divey space bar with the cantina song in the background. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> yes. yes, correct. Yeah. So then, at that point, we would both get a total of two skill increases from this. Okay. And I think just for flavor, I'm going to take Gambler 1 because that's how I know you. Okay. Nice. And then these are based off of the careers we were doing at those at that uh, point? It's, or it's just like loosely based off of the events that you that link people. Oh, so, okay. That's right. I, I have to choose a skill from my connection. Yes, from, from Campbell. knowing Campbell. Correct. Mm -hmm. Oh. What, uh, what science did you study? Archaeology. Ooh. I want to take that but because this one starts at one right mm -hmm. okay and what what do you what art skills do you have i've got singer piano and writing or performer instrument and write i'll do i'll do some singing that sounds nice. good i think i'm going to uh increase my singing to one yeah that'll work and then if you already have a one in something does it go up 
to a two yes. then? Yes, it okay. will go up. So I think I'm going to take Streetwise then for... I like it. For our Zach slash Campbell. I wonder... Friendship. I'm trying to think. Um, I'm, I might be rethinking my stealth. What okay. if... Don't overthink it, Ryan. No, no. I'm Don't thinking, overthink it. What if I got off world with you? And... With... Yeah, you, you piloted off the world and mm-hmm. you got me out too. And I used my astrogation skills to increase those. Yeah, that's, that works. I'm cool with that. So that puts me at astrogation three. Ooh, you're a real that's, good navigator. Yeah. That's, uh, you and I work well together because I have pilot spacecraft of nice. two. At least I'm useful somewhere. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so sad. <laughs> All the songs I write are going to be like super sad and depressing. Yeah, which also kind of leads to it really kind of makes sense that we would be working together because you and I have worked together in a ship capacity. And I feel like at the beginning of the campaign, it would probably be like, maybe I'm going a bit more solo with my scout Mm -hmm. ship and I need an astrogator. And I guess Mm -hmm. if I'm bringing you along and you're in a relationship with Campbell, well, yeah, that's true. You know, we we got our own little happy family here. You guys. (laughs) Oh, that's so nice. In our sad space. (laughs) Post-capitalist <laughs> <laughs> situation here. Late stage capitalism. Late stage capitalism. <laughs> That's amazing. Hell, our 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 sorry, our ship is big enough that we can even take uh you know tourists with Ooh. us. Ooh, do we go anywhere tourists would want to go? Uh, probably we not. Could, we could take groupies with us. Ooh, yeah. We could be like a, a s- but, space scenery group. Yeah. So a, a lot of times what what people do in the game is even if they're on a mission, they try to find cargo that's going in the same direction to just get a little bit extra money. Yeah. And so that's that's people traveling are a form of cargo. I, I, I am seeing where the spreadsheets come into play here. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> I can show you. There, there's a there's a two page spreadsheet of just various trade goods and variables on increasing and decreasing the sell price and buy price. Oh, my goodness. I know. I love it. (laughs) (laughs) I could see, like, getting super into this, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Like, I I don't love math. That's – and really, resource management is not usually a thing that I enjoy, but I could see, like, when you're in the mood for it. Yeah. I think with this game, what you really need is you need the storyteller, the referee, to be really into that stuff. And you need at least one player who's kind of like the accountant for the group. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And once you have that, I think it works pretty right. well. So do I start the game with zero money? Yep. Because I didn't succeed at anything except for graduation. Y- yep. Oh. Oh, boy. So what's the situation with having to, like, buy gear and stuff? Well, at... With the money we start with, we can buy gear. So, like, my character, who is trained in two different types of guns, probably would buy a gun. Yeah. I mean, we don't have to go through all of this. Like, Right. Yeah. I don't, know, I don't know how, how specifically in-depth you want, but, like, yeah. I probably would have a gun. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I would, that would come out of my 30,000 credits that I have on hand. And, and our guns, how, how is it price-wise? What are we looking at here? Uh, let's Ooh, see. Things are... Oh, there's like distances and stuff in here. Holy cow. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, there's... I know. I don't are... know why yeah. I thought there wouldn't be, but... <laughs> yeah. Oh, you fool. So like a, a laser pistol costs 1,000 credits. Oh, boy. Cool. Oh, no. I'm sorry. 2,000 credits. The Do power pack costs one. Do you have to buy pants? <laughs> no. Yeah, because yeah. we learned I, I, that. We learned that in playing Deadlands. That I, you do I have do to remember specify. when they said that. <laughs> I remember when they said that. I, I have not seen anywhere. I think it's safe to assume you have a, some a basic clothes. outfit. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. How many how many donkeys did we buy in that game? <laughs> we won't know until next week. I think it was like five. It was, it was like Caleb five, bought four donkeys. Yeah, I think it was five donkeys. Pretty sure. Because yeah. they were like now, righty and lefty and fronty and <laughs> George or something. Yeah. Some things when you're buying equipment to keep in mind, though, is what's called tech level, TL. Okay. Yes. The base game assumes a TL of 12. That's that's where the base game kind of assumes things are. And so usually it's assumed you can get anything of TL 12 or less. However... I think 15, it said, was the cap, right? Basically, yeah. Okay. 15 is like so technologically advanced that what are we even doing? It's like Wakanda now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. 
However, tech level is also an interesting thing in trade because different planets have different tech levels. It's not just the the galaxy is all tech level 12. Mm. That makes sense. So like each planet yeah. could have uh, a different tech level. Yeah. And and what it what it actually is is it's not that like you could go on a tech level 8 planet and find items that are tech level 12, but that planet does not have the resources and the infrastructure to produce anything above tech level 8. That makes sense. Is okay. what it comes down to. So are they harder to find and then more expensive there too or Yeah, so just... like if if you're trying to find something that's a higher tech level than the planet's base tech level, it's going to be harder to find more expensive things like that. Just more more math. I- more I'm math. looking through the I, I'm looking through the the equipment section and there's like fake advertisements in here for different things which is really interesting. Yeah. I it there are places where I love the aesthetic of yeah. this game. I really th- this the equipment section looks really pretty. I just have to mm-hmm. say. If you want to see that uh trade spreadsheet it's on page 212. Ooh, I'm going to go look at it. Yes, cool but I saw cards. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, a bunch that goes into trade because that is one of the best ways to make money. Wow. I feel like I would play like an online version of this game, though. Like, I don't want to have to do all this in a notebook. Yeah, this would be <laughs> nice if a lot of this was, uh, you know, automated. Like digital. Yeah. Yeah. I, I could see a, there... a successful like app or something like that for this. Mm. Somebody has made a planet generator. Um, I don't know who the person is, but it's kind of a fun planet generator that, uh, I, where, where was it? I, I, I'll, I'll have to look so I, I can show you at some point. Yeah. But, uh, it's, it's basically just this, somebody made a thing where it just spits out random. Here's the planet. Here's all of the ratings. Oh, that's so this cool. This is crazy. I mean, like it has, um rules in here for world creation and like galactic mm-hmm. directions and and uh like the population in the world can be between nobody and over what is that a trillion trillions yeah yeah it's interesting because like you said the setting is kind of neutral but like they give you all kinds of stuff to make your own mm-hmm. like all yeah. the tools yeah. and stuff are in there to figure out what you want to yeah. do with it which is it really is just like build your own. <laughs> build build yeah. your own galaxy, basically. Yeah. That's really interesting. This game is crazy. Uh, oh, okay. So the he's updated the the generator since the last time I saw it. That's what's going on. I did find it. You, Ooh, cool. You know, and it's, really, I could, uh, going back to our Eight Kinds of Fun episode, if you haven't listened to that, go back and listen. It's amazing. Uh, this game seems to <laughs> really scratch the explorer itch. Yeah, and that that is legitimately. Oh, we, we actually were not quite done with creating our characters. Oh. That <gasps> oh my that gosh. reminded me. There is one step we have not done yet, aside from buying equipment, which I assume we're just kind of skipping over no, to a degree. No, I'm yeah, done because I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> Ryan did a great job. Uh, if you go to page forty-eight, there is a thing called skill packages. What this is is the insurance to make sure that whatever type of game we are going to be playing in, we have the skills we need. Okay. So, say the Traveler skill package, for instance, is what's kind of the baseline. Um, so if that's the one we were doing, we would just do a round robin. I would, One of us would go first. If it was me, I would say, well, I'm going to take Persuade at one. And then we would go on to Chiara. Oh. Chiara would take one. And then we would go over to Campbell. Campbell would take oh, one. interesting. And you do it, you do it until they're all okay. taken. Okay, okay. Obviously, you know, my character has pilot higher than one already, so I can't really take mm-hmm. that. But, Ooh, but so this cool, is, though. yeah, so this is how they ensure that, you know, because with all the randomness of character creation, we, maybe the referee really wanted a criminal campaign and we might not be suited for it. We kind of are, I think, but you know, that was just the first one I looked mm-hmm. at. Yeah. Uh, but so this is the way to say, well, this is what the story I have designed is so you guys are going to take this skill Mm -hmm. package. Oh, that's really cool. I, yeah, I really like this. I I was kind of leading towards what do we have two non-combatants and one person that's decent at combat. Yeah. So maybe a a combat light sort of uh, package. Yeah. It, It feels to me like our characters are maybe 
traders or possibly explorers. Yeah, I was thinking trading would work really well. Um, yeah. Like, our, our current ship it doesn't have a lot of cargo space, but it has mm-hmm. some. We could do trading. Right. Yeah. Um, Explorer could work really well, too, uh, because then yep. we could, you know, sell ancient relics and, and stuff like that that we find. Yeah. Traveler is, like I said earlier, how, you know, Firefly is thought to be based on a campaign in Traveler. The Traveler skill package is the one that I think most encapsulates that. that. Makes sense. Yeah, so that's Pilot, Deception, Electronics, Gunner, Gun Combat, Persuade, Stealth, and Medic. Right. Which, yeah, yeah I feel, I feel, feels like a pretty standard campaign mm-hmm. yeah kind of. yeah that's but cool so, i like that that's built in there though so that yeah. yeah even even though things are random you're not totally derailing right so, so what package do we want to lock in uh <laughs> i think i think i might be leading towards trader but i think we have a lot of those already but but it would still be good to maybe have like a backup pilot or something like that oh yeah yeah i think trader's pretty trader good Trader looks pretty good okay too, yeah. so who wants to go first I will go first. Sure. Okay. I volunteer me. Okay. I'm going to pick Diplomat at one. Makes sense. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> You've got pretty decent social, don't you? Uh, that... Yeah. Well, it's an eight. Well, right. It's fine. I think you've got the highest social out of all of us. <laughs> oh, boy. So that makes... You're way yeah. above me. All right. I'm, I have a that five. Makes sense. I could go with um, Pilot. Okay. So kind of backup pilot sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take Streetwise up to one because I had it at zero, but I think my character deserves a little bit better at Streetwise. Do I have to do a specialty for the pilot? Yes. Uh, What's the what's the specialty that'll fly this ship? Spacecraft. Okay. Pilot space. For pilot, there's three. There's spacecraft, there's small craft, and then there's a capital ship. Spacecraft is, is most, you know, ships with a jump drive. Small craft is if you have like a, a skiff or something that goes off of that, and then capital ship is something we would never be able right. to afford. All right. So. Okay. So what what skill did you choose then? So, uh, I took streetwise. Okay. Amelia took uh, medic. I took diplomat. Oh, diplomat. Yeah. Um. So then it's my turn again. I'm gonna pick um advocate. Okay. That's kind of like knowing laws and things like that. So that's yeah. useful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. So let's see. I already have astrogation, so that doesn't help me. Um, I can be t- electronics. Yeah, I think electronics you. would be good for for my character. Okay. So I'm gonna pick electronics. Oh, and I have to pick yeah. a specialty. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna just go ahead and take astrogation. So you're the backup pilot. I'm the backup astrogator. We can both do each other's jobs. Not quite as that good. Makes sense. All right. I'm gonna pick broker. Okay. This, of course, means that when we're actually doing deals, it's on you. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, nice. Um, oh, gee, should I do computers, maybe? So that just leaves medic, I think, right? For electronics or uh, sensors. Comms might also comms be good. Comms would be good. Oh, jamming comm systems. Custom mm-hmm. landing privileges. Yeah, that would be really good for a trading sort of thing. Yeah. So I'll do electronic yeah. comms. That'll be good. Okay. Is there I anything think, left? I think medic was the only one left, right? Oh. Is it is it my turn? Um, I think it was. I don't know. I lost so track of where we are. Uh, yeah. Who wants medic? <laughs> so there's a total of eight. Right. Yeah. So, so one of us so is only going to get me. two. Give it, okay. Yeah, I've taken yeah, two. So I would be I the one two. to get the last yeah. one. Yeah. So you so you okay, would get medic. That, that makes sense for. Yeah, I mean, you could have learned first aid in university. Yeah. Even you did actually graduate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. And maybe that's why I so didn't means... go and get uh, medical help after the injury. Just patch myself <laughs> up. All right. Have we created characters? Did, did we we have created wow. characters. Holy cow. We did it. And we got a group. Normally, yeah, normally yeah. we kind of talk about backgrounds and how everybody met, but that was kind of part of this process. So yeah. yes, we've yeah. sort of sorted that part out already, which means, friends, we are done with this part. Wow. That, that was actually pretty creation. cool. Yeah. yeah. That's uh, like I said, I love this it, game. Hundred percent unexpected turn of events for me, but uh that's okay. I, I still like where we ended up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it turned out cool. It was not at all what I expected it like how I expected that yeah. to turn out. But yeah. It was good. Very well, Ryan, thank you so much for 
joining us. Do you want to remind everybody where they can find you and what you are up to? Absolutely. Uh, you can find me by listening to Shadow of the Cabal. It's uh, an actual play podcast, which normally plays Legend of the Five Rings, but we are in a bit of a hiatus while we wait for the new edition to come out. And that's we'll be, mostly of what I do. By the you time can also, this episode comes out, we'll, I think we'll be playing Genesis. Oh, that. Oh, yeah, you're right. We will be uh, on Genesis. Um, and also, you can find me on Twitter at the Prime Sauce. Oh, you're that Ryan. All right. No. <laughs> <laughs> that Ryan. <laughs> Not yeah. the other one. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for listening. And please join us on the next episode for our discussion block. Character Creation Cast is a production of the One Shot Podcast Network and can be found online at www.charactercreationcast.com. Head to the website to get more information on our hosts and guests, or even some of our character sheets. Character Creation Cast can be found on Twitter at CreationCast. I'm one of your hosts, Ryan Bolter, and I can be found on Twitter at Lord Neptune. Our other host, Amelia Antrim, can be found on Twitter at Ginger Reckoning. Music for this episode is used with a Creative Commons license or with permission from the podcast they originated from. Further information can be found within the show notes. Our main theme music is Hero Remix by Steve Combs and is used with a Creative Commons license. This podcast is owned by us under Creative Commons. This episode was edited by Ryan Bolter. Further information for the game systems used and today's guests can also be found in the show notes. If you like the systems discussed and wish to purchase them, links to the products can be found in the show notes. Also, check the notes or the website for cool stuff to go with each character, such as dice or mixtapes. Thanks for joining us, and remember, we find that the best part of any role-playing game is character creation, so go out there and create some amazing people. We will see you next time. Show blurbs. Show blurbs. Show blurbs. Show blurbs. Show blurbs. Character Creation Cast is hosted by the One Shot Podcast Network. If you enjoyed our show, visit OneShotPodcast.com, where you will find other great shows like Total Party Kill. Total Party Kill is a weekly live Twitch stream where John Patrick Cohen, Eddie Klinker, and James Dugan play through Cephalofair Games' Gloomhaven. Join them in the stream to play along through the action and interact with a constantly changing cast of characters and special guests, or watch them after the fact on the One Shot YouTube channel. TPK airs Thursdays at 7 p.m. Central Time at twitch.tv slash one shot RPG.